Hey guys, what's up? My name's Chopper and welcome everybody to another video. In this one guys, we're going to be clearing up a little bit of what's going on with the censorship and, and things that playtesters have talked about and leaked for Modern Warfare. So there's been a lot of confusion about what's going on with the campaign. Is it going to be censored or not? And if so, to what degree? Why are they censoring it? And is that going to affect the multiplayer or the rest of the game at all? It's a lot of gray area right now, but I'm hopefully going to be here to straighten some things out a bit. This all started after some certain YouTubers were invited out to the studio to play the game early and then they ran through the campaign and they noted a couple of things that maybe would be controversial about this. Now, Call of Duty and campaigns have been controversial to some degree in, in a lot of different iterations, but we haven't had one that really struck in a while. And as you guys are probably well aware by now, Infinity Ward, that's that's really their goal at this point, is to make a campaign that's controversial, it's going to get attention, and whether that's just because that's the game they want to make, or because they want to have media attention and, and bring more sales to the game because of that, maybe it's a combination of both. Either way, it doesn't really matter. What does matter here, though, is that apparently Infinity Ward's vision of the game, whatever it entails, is in danger of getting censored, and rumors have already been coming out about that, that it's already been censored for the final build of the game, what the playtesters and uh, all the YouTube played at the event is not going to be the version that we're playing apparently and this clearly has a lot of people upset right I, I i don't think if you were invested in call of duty as much as a lot of these guys are that you would be very happy with you know infinity ward censoring their own product whether it's their fault or not it's just never going to sit well with players if they know the fact that the game that they're playing or the version of it is not the same that they could have been playing or they're playing the watered down version of it but this isn't the first time this has happened you might remember with world war ii they caught some flack for taking the certain flags out of certain maps. And they didn't take it out because the majority of people like wanted to have that kind of symbolism in there because they got behind it. They just wanted because it's it's something that adds to the historical value. It felt much more genuine to a lot of players just to have the real flag in there and, and be authentic about it. And I think a lot of people do appreciate that. And so I think, I hope they've learned the lesson coming up with Modern Warfare that apparently some things in the dialogue is going to be censored. Now the specific part in the campaign that's going to get censored. Now I don't want to spoil anything in this video. If you want to go do your own research about what exactly that mission is then uh, I'm sure you can use your googling skills but basically th let's let's just say it's an uncomfortable situation that gets made even more uncomfortable by this dialogue and like I honestly after reading exactly what it is if the transcript is correct then I, I don't think the line is necessary but that doesn't mean it needs to be censored the way that this is being taken right now a lot of journalists and like play testers were reporting that this line should be censored because it's going to make players too uncomfortable it's going to stir a lot of things up and uh, this is just not the ideal time to be saying something like that. So after Call of Duty fans hear the journalists talking about how uh, Modern Warfare is going to be censored by Infinity Ward and all this sort of stuff, people are going to start freaking out, and it's already happened. And so a lot of fans have tweeted developers and, and stuff like that talking about ex exactly how this game is going to be censored and in what way and, and probably why they shouldn't do it. For example, this fan right here is tweeting someone at Infinity Ward, and, and he's basically like, yo, I've played every Call of Duty game since my childhood. Like, I've been an absolutely hardcore fan, and I would hate nothing more than to see this game get censored or, like, your vision of the game get distorted and, and, and put to rest by, like, journalists and things like that. And he gets a reply basically saying, yeah, that's th there's there's no way that's going to happen. We're not doing it. We aren't censoring it, and those are rumors. So that's good to hear. And so this that that's where you'd imagine all this controversy would clear up, and then that would be that. You could put it to rest. You know what I'm saying? But the story doesn't end there. Most people ha were happy to hear this, that all, all the things they heard were rumors. Infinity Ward was not censoring their game for any reason whatsoever. And uh, the, the build of the game that they showed off was the one that we're going to be playing. But that doesn't exactly seem to be the case either. So you guys might remember recently, at E3, there was like a private showing behind closed doors of Modern Warfare, and, and so people got to see the game a little bit for the most part, but they were also evidently, you might have heard, scared to show off some of the gameplay publicly, and that caused a lot of people to be curious about that. From what it seems like, instead of censoring their game entirely and then showing that version off to the public, they, they showed like a very private showing of the game uncut right now as it is to, you know, just a handful of people to see how they react to it, but that that, that doesn't work, like that's not where the line ends. Apparently, there actually is stuff in the Modern Warfare campaign that is getting cut out, but it's not because of quote-unquote censorship. I think the idea here is that people were upset that, you know, journalists or any sort of public backlash was going to be the direct root cause of Infinity Ward censoring their own game. And, and, and clearly we discussed the problems with that earlier in this video, but it seems like they are cutting stuff out. But the real reason is to paraphrase Infinity Ward is to get a better version of the real vision of their game. So the best way to think about this is that they're apparently editing their campaign quote-unquote in order to make maybe the narrative more cohesive or or make the overall play experience better and the way that they want to provide it and evidently that is going to apparently require some
some cutouts of some lines of dialogue. And so this is like where it gets kind of messy. So technically speaking, on the surface, no. Infinity Ward is not censoring their own game. They're not going to censor anything in Modern Warfare due to like backlash from the public in any way whatsoever. But it does appear that the original cut of the game, whatever we were supposed to be playing, what what like the earliest uh, play testers ended up going at, is apparently not what we're going to have back at home. Now that in and of itself is really not that uncommon. Whether you realize it or not, with most video games, there's a lot of cut and editing and, and a lot of content that just doesn't make it to the final build. And if you do your research, you can normally find out what that content is or what it was supposed to be, but you know, you just never end up playing it. And, and that happens whether you really kind of dig into it or not. But it seems like with this year, the strange thing is how late in the cycle this thing is happening. Normally, it, let, let's say, okay, let's say Modern Warfare is going to cut dialogue and cut scenes out of the entire campaign. Normally, this is going to be done like in a very, very early like concept or pre-build of the game and uh, would certainly not be before they showed off any trailers, even reveal the game. All this stuff would be, generally speaking, done beforehand. But it seems like they're making last minute cuts for whatever reason. I think it's also possible that the answer they gave about, you know, when asked about if they're censoring their game or not, and they, they're saying basically they just want to achieve their vision of the game, quote unquote. I think that answer could potentially be a little bit of a cop out or just something that they're saying, because this way fans won't be upset because they, they don't feel like Infinity Ward is intentionally censoring themselves. But also at the same time, you, you it, what it seems like is we're not going to be playing that original build, which a lot of people got invested in this game for because they heard a lot about it. Of course, it got a lot of media attention. And I think that was the whole purpose. And so here, I, here's where the big problem comes in. Infinity Ward spends a lot of time in their marketing resources, hyping up this campaign that's going to essentially break new grounds, do something that a Call of Duty has never done before and, and, and essentially shock everybody. And fair enough. Honestly, I give them props for wanting to go that route. It's definitely dangerous, but I think they saw that coming anyways. But here's the thing. If they're not going to full send it pretty much and, and basically give us the uncensored and uncut version of this campaign, and then they hype us up about it and then give us a watered down version of the campaign, it could potentially be the biggest flop of all time. I think that is the worst case scenario that could happen to it. I, I, I really don't think the campaign is going to be censored if watered down even that much. And I don't even know if that's the right word to use for what they're making adjustments to the campaign, because clearly there is some truth in saying that they just want to achieve more of their vision of the game. And maybe the stuff that they had in doesn't really fit the overall feel and atmosphere that they're trying to give it off. And I think that's absolutely valid because this way, yeah, maybe the stuff that they included in these missions was a bit controversial, was a bit over the top, maybe disturbing a bit and just really was unnecessary, didn't belong. If that's the case, then at least they're getting rid of the excess like edginess that would, you know, make people take the campaign less seriously. Like imagine there's just some really stark out of line comments that are made that are just, you know, they don't really fit the entire mission that's going on. It's hard to really talk about these without getting into specific details, but I can see exactly Infinity Ward's point, but I also understand the point of people who don't want the game to be censored. But it also is 100% confirmed at this point that the game will be changing or will be different from the version that the YouTubers played and the playtesters played early on, and then the one that we get at home when the game does come out. And so you have to wonder exactly why they're getting rid of this stuff, what's the reason, and, and what do they hope to achieve by doing it. I also think it's worth knowing that it's rumored that apparently there were YouTubers way a couple of months ago, like playtesters before the even playtesters we knew about, who tried out an early version of the game and got absolutely terrible feedback in the way that it was built. And so maybe this has a lot to do with it. It's possible I think the game was, as I said earlier, like overly edgy or just completely unnecessary in the way that it, it's portrayed. And so maybe they cleaned all that up and, and to further restore their vision, quote unquote, of this game. And so maybe that's they're doing like a round two of it. And hopefully we get the best version of the campaign that we could possibly get. Regardless of where you stand on the censorship, as I'm sure most of you guys would not be okay with them censoring the game, and, and like I absolutely agree with you, I, I don't think it should be censored in any way. I think what matters to us most is we all just want the campaign to be good, and, and that's such like an overarching word. It's not really specific about anything, but we want the campaign to be a good experience. We want it to be memorable and, and everything like that, and so I think to give Infinity Ward the benefit of the doubt of whatever they're going to be removing from the game is to benefit the overall package. I think when everybody gets their hand on the campaign and a full like playthrough is done, it's going to be easy to see exactly how much it's changed since the beginning, or, or you can maybe get an idea and speculate of how much got cut out rather. And uh, I think that'd be a more accurate description. And so at the end of the day, I feel like we can all agree that we don't want this censorship to affect any major part of the game. And we also don't want it certainly affecting the multiplayer or the spec ops or any aspect of the game in general. So essentially at the end of the day, Infinity Ward is actually removing some things from their campaign. And, and maybe that's why they didn't want to show it off yet as to cause confusion, but it apparently 
apparently it's not because of fear of backlash from the community or anybody. It's more due to the fact that they want to fully restore their, their true vision of the game and refine it as much as possible. And if that's really the case, then fair enough. I think we all just want a good campaign experience at the end of the day. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on all this. Do you think that Modern Warfare should be censored in any way whatsoever? Do you think that, you know, it's better that they do cut some stuff out if it means that we're going to get a better product in the end? It's not an entirely cut and dry situation. It's not very black and white. And uh, I'm curious to hear you guys' feedback on this because it, it is pretty complex as a situation when you look at it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, rating, subscribe if you are a brand new, of course, around here. And uh, I'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video. Take it easy and peace out.